Guys, year to six pack abs, Milan here. How is everybody doing? Following those steps, perfect. Um, today we'll talk about our step number 11 um, in a year to six pack abs for uh, week 11, which will be adding a little bit of fat to every meal you eat. Um, sorry, I almost didn't do the video today I hit my head with a car door <laughs> uh, and it was bleeding really heavily but luckily I stopped the bleeding so um, here we go step number 11 week number 11 okay you're on your way to six-pack abs so adding a fat to your meal every meal so you have a three to five meals per day and you, from now on, try to add a little bit of fat. Well, fat has uh, two important things, uh, two important benefits in six-pack abs. First, it's, uh, it, it works, it keeps you satiated, okay? You're satisfied. Uh, if you eat a meal that doesn't have any fat in it, you'll be hungry very soon, okay? So, um, it's high on calories, but overall, those are not bad calories and you will last on the meal longer so that's an advantage number one advantage, and bad. advantage number two is um, fat works as a kind of a traffic controller for blood uh, for carbohydrate sugar entering the bloodstream okay so it releases releases the carbohydrate on the, on the slow basis over time so you're there you're not experiencing any too high um, highs of sugar and too lows I mean your diet is already pretty good so you shouldn't be experiencing it anyway but with a little bit of fat in the diet you will even improve this okay so let's talk about uh, you know a few examples um, breakfast um, I you know I can imagine any, any other breakfast is just uh, having eggs. You know, you have eggs, you have some salad with it, uh, and you have uh, five almonds or ten almonds. That's a that's a fat there. Okay, mid afternoon snack, snacks, snack, um, pear and cashews. Okay, uh, lunch. Uh, let's go. Uh, you know, you have uh, some. Uh, you know, chicken cooked stroganoff or something like that with olive oil in it. Uh, Mid-afternoon snack. Gee, I have to use it. I have to, I have to really think. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so, avocado and maybe some uh, a little bit of cheese. Okay, avocado is a great fat source. Dinner. Um, you can have chicken salad, some butter in it. Okay, uh, great. So that, those are a few examples. Anyway, uh, um, a lot of people think that fat, and they're trying to avoid fat. So uh, doesn't fat supposed to be bad for you? I mean, everybody says it's you know making you fat, it's clogging your arteries. No, no, no. Um, I am a, I'm a big fan of fat. I eat a lot of fat, and I recently went to the doctor, you know, to do, to do my blood test because a lot of people thought that eating so much butter would uh, put me in a danger for heart disease, but, uh, you know, I actually have a result here. Uh, I just went there like a week ago. So anyway, uh, my diet is 80% fat, you know, I mean, I eat a lot of fat. Um, and um, so, so basically, my HDL cholesterol, 80, really good, you know, that's a, that's a good cholesterol. Okay, LDL cholesterol, uh, 89, perfect, optimal levels. My total cholesterol is 168, which is excellent. And the interesting thing is uh, our triglyceride. I mean, here it is. Oops. No. You, might, you might be able to see it, but I'm not just come making it up. Um, triglycerides, 37. That's uh, that's actually fat in. It's a measurement of fat in the bloodstream, 
and uh, you know optimal levels are 150 so I'm on the really low side 37 um, and uh, you know if you if you follow my website I mean I you know you see that you a lot of fat a lot of butter a lot of saturated fat and basically my blood test is perfect uh, so don't listen to the mainstream uh, medical advice it's wrong come up with your own uh, and uh, I mean not really come up with your own but uh, experiment you know see see what works for you and uh, actually carbohydrates sugar flour is the enemy anyway uh, so adding fat with every meal you eat will help you get the six-pack abs eventually and um, from now on have it with every meal the best kinds of fat all kinds of raw nuts cashews almonds macadamia nuts <clears throat> uh, avocados coconut oil coconut butter real butter grass-fed butter organic butter I prefer grass-fed um, another one olive oil very good fat okay extra virgin olive oil um, and, and and there is a you know a fresh meat meats contain saturated fat which is okay uh, you can eat those so uh, I will name them under under the video as a list of best fats so go ahead um, you know check it check it out there and um, step number 11 week number 11 see you next week bye bye